Hey everybody, my name is Brandon. Welcome back to Cinefessions, where we talk all things media. So about a week or two ago, I posted an eBay haul video of all of the Blu-rays that I picked up on eBay. In that video, I talked about how I had a DVD and VHS haul from eBay coming, this is not that video. Instead, I made a couple bids on an item that I really didn't think I was going to win. But here we are. This is a big old giant box of VHS tapes. Frankly, I don't remember how many are in here and I don't remember everything that's in here. But I do know there are some really cool things inside. So let's open this bad boy up and see what is included. So I'll admit... I may not have been 100% sober when I placed the bid on this because if I realized how much the shipping was, I probably wouldn't have bid, but that's neither here nor there. A little bit more than I wanted to pay for it, but that's all right. I still have it and I am excited. If there's anything I don't want in here, I'm sure I can recoup some of those costs. But anyway, that's a lot of talk. Let's not waste any more time at all. Let's open up my box of VHS tapes from eBay. All right, so that wasn't easy, but it is now opened up. So let's set this to the side. I don't even think, think I mentioned this, but these are all horror VHS tapes. So that's always a cool thing. I should have mentioned that right at the start. But either way, let's start with this one because it's sticking out here. All right, so... Oh my gosh. Okay. I am interested. This is The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. At first glance, I'm thinking, oh, it's probably like a kid's cartoon, but then I flip it over. We have Jeff Goldblum in this bad boy. Now, frankly, this could still be an animated film. I have no idea, but Jeff Goldblum is in that. So that's super interesting to me. And it's a full length movie, 98 minutes. This is really cool. Yeah. I don't know anything about this. I've never, I didn't know Jeff Goldblum was in The Legend of Sleepy Hollow, but... There is the tape, and it looks to be in decent enough shape, so that's good. Yeah, all right, one for one. Not bad at all. Perfect time to get these two as we are entering the spooky season. This is from Star Maker. It says on the bottom down there, if you can read that. I've never heard of Star Maker before, so very interesting. Okay, well, that's one. Legend of Sleepy Hollow. Good way to start things here. I'm going to go through these. Let me more paper in the way. Let me get this out of the way. All right, let me just grab whatever's on the edge here. If I can get it out. There we go. What do we have? Oh, okay. So we have Species 2. Very good. Now, this is one that I do own all of these on Blu-ray, but I've actually not watched these yet. Oh, this is really cool. So let me just make sure the right tape is inside. And it is, but this is awesome because it has this little pamphlet inside as well, which is always fun to look through. So anyway, I don't want to go take too long on each of these, but yeah, very good. So we have Species 2, some great shots on the back there. Very good. I don't know. I don't remember if the original is in here or not, but I guess we'll find out. Oh, all right. We have Hollow Man here. This one does appear to be a little sun faded a little bit, but that's totally fine. This one is one that I do own on Blu-ray. I actually have the Blu-ray steelbook of this, thanks to Mill Creek Entertainment, but... One I haven't watched yet, so I've heard really good things, though. Kevin Bacon and Elizabeth Shue is supposed to be a great movie. What do we have next here? Let's go over here. Oh, this is cool. I do own this one already. This is Beastmaster 2, Through the Portal of Time. This is funny because I actually, I see, I was like specifically seeking this one out uh, a couple months ago, trying to find it when I realized it existed. I was trying to see if I could see the address on here, but I can't make it out. Uh, but yeah, so I do have that one in the collection. I'll double check. I think the one I have is probably in better shape, but whichever one's in better shape, I will keep. And then I will just sell the other one. Not worth a ton. I think I only paid probably less than 10 bucks for my standalone VHS, but either way. Oh, this is cool. So this actually is not horror. This one is uh, fantasy. I would call it fantasy sci-fi. We have Excalibur. Definitely not sci-fi. It's fantasy. Uh, another one that I haven't seen yet. This is John Borman's Excalibur. So yeah, very good. Love that. It's called adult drama on the side. You can't read it, but that's what it says. Adult drama. So there's fantasy. Love that. That's great cover art. Like that is beautiful. Man, that's awesome. I love that. So Excalibur. Very good. What else do we have here? Oh, this is really cool. What a great film this is. We have the Rocky Horror Picture Show. 
This is such a fun movie. I mean, who doesn't love Rocky Horror? It's like stuck. Let me let me see if I can get this. What the world would this be stuck on? How weird. I'm gonna I'm gonna rip something. I'm gonna ruin the box as I open this or something crazy. Do I have to do this? Oh, there we go. Oh, it's stuck again. There it is. Yep, Rocky Horror. I don't know. I think it was just stuck on the the tapes, whatever those are called, the reels on the inside. But yeah, very good. Not, not in the best shape, obviously, but decent enough. Can't wait to check that one out. Rocky Horror Picture Show. All right, last one from this side here. Oh, there we go. Yep, I do have the original species on VHS now too. So that's awesome. These are ones I'm, I'm really excited to check this series out because I've, I've heard really great things about them. At least the original I've heard good things about. So yeah, it should be really cool. Roger Donaldson directs this. I, I don't know that name offhand, so we will see. But yeah, very good species on VHS. All right, let's go back to the other side here. This one is stuck to the other one. Oh, excellent. Godzilla. I love it. Now, this one gets so much hate, but I actually, I, I don't hate this movie. I don't love it, but I don't hate it either. I think it is pretty good for what it is. Now, I believe I actually own this one on VHS already. I think I found it at the thrift store for, you know, super cheap. And I would argue that that one's probably in better condition. This one, you can actually see has a little bit of stickiness on it, unfortunately. But yeah, that's Godzilla. This is such a cool cover too. You can't tell, but it's actually textured, which is awesome. I love that one. What is next? We have another one I currently own on VHS already, but we have Alien Resurrection. I like this one too. Another one that gets a ton of hate, but I actually enjoy this one quite a bit. This, of course, is uh, Jean-Pierre Jeunet. I think is how you would say that. Not the best of the franchise, of course, but another one that I think is enjoyable. So Alien Resurrection. Alien Romulus coming out on 4K here and not too long, I think. I saw an announcement for it recently. What do we have? Oh, there is the Abyss. This is cool. So I actually, I own the Abyss. Look at that cover. Like, that's awful, but I love it at the same time. But I own this one on VHS also. But I want to say that I own a different version. Mine is purple, I think. And so definitely a different release of it. But yeah, this like... How are they selling? I don't know. That's such a weird cover to try to sell the movie. It doesn't give you anything. That is so weird, but make sure we have it in there. Yep, it is in there. So anyway, Abyss is in the collection now. Again, on VHS. One, two, three, four, five, maybe about five more in this box here. Okay, so this was one of the main reasons I actually stumbled across this because this is a later VHS tape for a movie that I absolutely love, but had to grab it, Dawn of the Dead. So again, this was one of the main reasons I ended up looking at this set to begin with. The extended version, too scary for theaters. I love this. I owned this now on virtually every format, I think. I had the DVD initially when that released. I owned the Scream Factory Blu-ray and I own, this is on 4K, right? I'm not just making that up. It is because I remember comparing it to the Scream Factory Blu-ray and the Blu-ray for this release is super grainy, which I like grain, but it's almost distractingly so. Whereas the 4K I feel is a lot more natural and it feels a lot better. So. Yeah, I have this one on every format now, at least all the major formats in my collection. Love this film. I will definitely be watching this one on VHS. Such a classic for me. So Dawn of the Dead, the Snyder version of it here. I can't, is it 04, I want to say? Yeah, 04. I was struggling to remember the year. All right, that's one of the main reasons I grabbed this. And that, you know what? Uh, should I wait? I'm going to wait on that one because that's the other big reason that I was like, you know, I'm going to bid on this one. All right. What do we have next here? Oh, very cool. Aaliyah in Queen of the Damned. Now, here's another one. I don't think I've seen this. I feel like I've seen parts of this one, but I've never sat down and watched it from start to finish before. Now, shockingly, this thing is in like mint condition. I am quite impressed by this here. It's in great shape, much better shape than everything else that's been in this box. So... Very cool. And I don't know if I own this. I probably own it on DVD. I'm thinking maybe like a multi-pack actually is how I own this one on DVD, but very cool to have the VHS. I don't know what year this is. 2002. So another later VHS release there. That's Queen of the Damned. Getting to the end here. Three more. 
actually four, because the other one I haven't shown yet. This is really cool too, which again, in, in really good shape, not quite as good as uh, Queen of the Damned, but we have Dracula. This is awesome. I think I've shown it already now. I picked some uh, like universe or just monster movies from this era up at a garage sale recently. So definitely excited to have this one in the collection. Such a classic. Not my favorite of the Universal Monster films, but still very, you know, it's, it's a great movie and I really enjoy watching it. So happy to have this one on VHS. I was super jealous. My brother-in-law ended up actually inheriting a bunch of old uh, Universal Monster tapes from, I believe it was his grandmother when she passed a number of years ago and they looked awesome. And so I always wanted them in my collection. Another one we have here, Frankenstein meets the Wolfman. Here's what, I don't think I've actually seen this one before. I love both Frankenstein and Wolfman, but I've never seen the collab between the two. So intrigued to see how this one is. Very good shape on this one as well which is really surprising because these ones you'd feel like would be a little bit older, but I guess they're probably not. I don't see a release year on the actual VHS tape, but yeah, Frankenstein meets the Wolfman. Very cool for that VHS collection. And all right, so the last one before the big one here, what do we have? Another of the Universal Classic films. We have Boris Karloff in The Mummy. So another good one. I, one of my... One of my lesser favorites, I guess, from the original monster films, this one and The Creature from the Black Lagoon, I always put towards the bottom of the list. I don't dislike the movies at all, but I just, they didn't connect with me in quite the same way as Wolfman or Bride of Frankenstein, which I always say is my favorite, or Dracula, but still really good movies. So that cover art, man, that is just stunning. I love that. So very good. These are obviously later releases. I don't see any year on these anywhere though. So I don't know what year these would be out, have been released, but either way, very happy to have these in the collection. 1999, there it is. So yeah, definitely later release here. I'm guessing most of these, the, the classic collection are probably from 99. So yeah. And then here we go, guys. Last but not least, and the big one, the reason that I was like, okay, I'll, I'll bid on this. Again, probably wouldn't have if I saw the, the amount for the shipping. But frankly, this is one that's probably worth right around what I paid for the whole thing, not including shipping. But Halloween, I am so excited to have this on VHS. I will 100% be watching this on VHS this year. Of course, I own the 4K. I watched that right when it came out and I loved it. The, the color grading on that is just perfect. I think it's so good, but I didn't have this one. And this is interesting too, probably worth a little bit less because of this, but this is the Blockbuster Presents version. And you can see right on the back there, there's that infamous Blockbuster logo. So. Oh, this is so awesome. One of my all-time favorite movies. So happy to have this one finally on VHS in the collection. This is, without a doubt, the coolest find. This one and Dawn of the Dead. Those are the two for me that really make it. So, yeah, great ad for that VHS collection. All right, hopefully you guys can see most of those there. That's the best way I can hold them up. So I don't think I actually said how much I paid for this. I believe the, the winning bid was like $33, something like that. And then shipping was like $18 on top of it. So all in, I spent about $50, but I did use money I had on eBay from selling other things. So I spent like nothing out of pocket, which is really cool. But some of these, like I said, if I decide I don't want them, I can definitely sell them and, you know, recoup some of those costs but I mean for my money like Halloween yeah, that's worth it alone so very happy to have these in the collection but I would love to hear from you guys down below do you have any of these on VHS what do you think was the best get out of this did I overpay maybe some of you are more familiar with VHS pricing offhand maybe I overpaid a ton did I get a good deal I don't know let me know what you guys think down in the comments below but with that said guys thank you so much for checking out this unboxing I really do appreciate that and any and all comments down there. I appreciate all that support. Before you guys go, I will just encourage you all to consume some media today. Thanks again for watching and I will catch you all next time.